Last December 8, 2021, I turned 22. These are some things I've learned in my 22 years of existence. Don't expect yourself to be good at everything. Having mastery at one thing is hard enough, so be kind to yourself and accept your limitations. Accept compliments and give out compliments sincerely. Being in that habit helps us notice and appreciate what's good and what we like in those around us. Try not to overthink about people's judgment towards you. Most of the time, they don't really care much. It's only our mind that's making it all up. We have a lot of things going on in our lives, so trust me, they aren't thinking about you. Do the things you want while you're still young. Bleach and color your hair. Cut that hair short. Wear fashionable clothes. Find a hobby. Join orgs, play a sport, or party with friends. Immerse yourself in everything around you and the world out there as long as you don't hurt yourself and others. Be kind to people even if you're not in the mood. All of us are going through something and will never know what people are dealing with at the moment. Don't be judgmental and try to have a more open mind towards every individual. Life isn't a productivity contest. Don't feel guilty for resting or waking up late if your body needs it. Lower your expectations and try to accept failure. Failing is an inevitable thing, even if you tried your best. It just happens, and it also means that it's not for you. Maintain your relationships with other people. That may be your friends and family. We're social animals, and this is something I've realized when lockdown started. How important it is to have human connection. You'll feel at your very best when you're surrounded by people you love and loves you back. There will always be bad days and you'll feel lost at times, but that's okay. Negative emotions will always come around. Feel it and cry it out if you need to, but don't let it stay with you for too long. Document your life if you desire. Take photos and videos of the moments. But don't let it distract you from being present with what you're witnessing and being with people. Act without expectation. It's good to do something where its own meaning is in itself like a hobby. Do it because it makes you feel good and not really focusing what compliments you'll be receiving. Choose the career path you want. You can consider other people's opinion like your parents. But imagine the future. It'll be something you'll do for a long time. Don't compare your life to what you see on social media. A reminder that not everything you perceive online is real. People don't post their failures and bad moments most of the time. So don't feel burdened and compare yourself to others. Self-care is essential to keep going. It isn't only about exercising or putting on face masks. It's in all areas of oneself, like your physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and social. Avoid neglecting what you're feeling and check in with yourself from time to time. Nurture your friendships. This doesn't mean talking to them every day and staying connected digitally. Each of you will be living their lives and pursuing their dreams. They won't be there for you all the time like before. That's okay. Just make sure to support them and they support you back. Be involved in something greater than you. Volunteer or be involved in a cause. Making a change in others' life positively, even if it's small, is something to be proud of, as it benefits other people, not just yourself. Stop planning and start doing. Don't get so caught up in planning out your life all the time. It's important that you live it out and start doing them. Lay a foundation for your beliefs, values, and principles and live it up. With me, I have God and His Word that reminds me daily how to stay grounded and deal with everyday situations. I know that it makes me a better person and I like myself when I'm in His presence. A lot of things only comes with certain privilege. 
Don't be insensitive and expect that everyone has the chance or choice just because you have. Live life creatively. Explore your surroundings and you will find things you'll enjoy. Set yourself a path to follow so you won't feel restless. Allow yourself to be a beginner when faced with something new. No one starts off being excellent. It's simply part of the process. Life isn't a K-drama. Those big dramatic moments in our lives are few and far between. Life is made up of lots of small moments, so we should be grateful and be reminded of our blessings, especially when dealing with bad days. Appreciate the simple things like seeing your friends and family, eating a good meal, enjoying a book, cuddling with pets, and watching the sunset.